So welcome all of you to this uh, you know, video. In this video, we will talk about um, a very important point. And I have received many questions from all of the students. They are asking about uh, you know, my IELTS class and how I am preparing students uh, toward their desired uh, bands. So lots of students are asking me that, how do you take um, uh, IELTS and um, what are your strategies or what is the format of taking the uh, you know, IELTS uh, uh, you know, class? So in this video, I'll talk about, um, you know, I'll talk to you, I'll explain it, that how my IELTS classes are and how I train my students and in which details uh, my IELTS class uh, you know, is. So everybody should see this one, and, and, and then after that, they will have an idea that yes, the class isn't this way, and I have to go and I have to uh, accept such things in, in order to uh, join uh, this class. So this video is about details on my IELTS preparation courses. So um, before starting, you know, like the discussions, so let me share the outline that what topics I'm going to discuss in this video. First of all, I'll talk about the purpose of IELTS that, you know, um, what is IELTS and, and why people are taking IELTS, uh, you know, exam. So um, why there are, there, there are millions, uh, millions, uh, you know, like test takers and they are attempting this exam. What benefits they have seen in IELTS. The second thing I'll talk about the preparation for IELTS, that how to prepare for IELTS, and, and what do I cover in this course, what I teach in this course, I'll talk about this one, um, and what level uh, you know, students can join us. This is a very common question that many students are asking, that can, you know, am I able to join this one, or am I, am I eligible for this class? So there are, you know, questions which are very common. Class duration, everybody is asking that, you know, during the class, how many hours do we have? And then um, uh, what about the normal uh, full class duration that, the, you know, how long um, will this class last for about two months, three months, how many months? So uh, the sixth question that, you know, I have, I have, I'm going to explain it that what do I need for the class? Many people are telling me that sir, tell us and recommend us books that what type of books should we buy it? So there are many things. And assessment progress, okay, how should I understand that, you know, before starting the training, I am in, in band, uh, you know, four, I am in band five or band uh, 5.5 5. and in in how many uh, bands should I should I go and in what this class you know like uh, uh, did for me you know like for example at the beginning I joined and in my score my bands were 5.5 5. and now finally I'm taking six bands I'm taking 7.5 I'm taking eight which is which is a very uh, challenging bands so, so uh, you know, how should I assess my students, and how students can assess themselves, can 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 check themselves that yes, you know, I'm sure, and I'm you know attempting this exam now, and I can easily achieve my bands. Uh, the last thing that attendance needed to this class that you know uh, what type of uh, presence you must have to this class. So we are going to discuss. Now, uh, first of all, the first question, which is very important, is that uh, who can join this course? Like, uh, this is something like, uh, um, uh, something like, uh, uh, we can call it uh, purpose of, uh, you know, IELTS. So uh, what is the purpose of IELTS and why do people come and join this class? So there are commonly four areas and four purposes that students are coming and they are, uh, you know, they are taking admissions and they are, uh, they are taking the coaching classes in order to get good bands. The first one is, uh, which is uh, the study, you know, abroad. They, they would like to study abroad. Uh, so this is the first purpose. They would like to do their bachelor's, master's, even they are doing PhDs. 
So many universities, uh, you know, uh, uh, made a condition for the students that you need to, uh, you know, prove your English proficiency, uh, you know, on a recognized test, which is um, in internationally recognized, that is called, you know, IELTS. The second thing is that, you know, in order to work abroad, many people are planning to work abroad. You may have seen lots of people are going illegal to, to, to lots of countries like uh, France, Germany, uh, uh, you know, like even they're going to Turkey by uh, through illegal ways, uh, you know, uh, Canada, Australia, you know, Holland. Uh, Switzerland, there are many countries like European countries, they are, they are just, you know, trying to go. Um, uh, so they, they go there uh, uh, on illegal ways. So um, uh, they say that, you know, why you're going, you, you're coming to this place uh, through illegal ways. So why don't you choose a legal way to come to our country? So they have made a condition that you have to attempt IELTS, then you can, you can come and we can offer you a visa. So this is the second major, you know, purpose. The next one is migration purposes. Like many, uh, many students are, are are coming and they are just, uh, you know, attempting this exam in order to migrate, in order to go to that country. You may have seen lots of, uh, you know, people are going there in order to migrate, not to shift them their, 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 their residence from this place to that place. The last purpose is that there are many, uh, you know, seminars or courses or diploma programs. Uh, they are also, uh, you know, like asking you to attempt IELTS and, and then after that they can offer you a visa uh, for, uh, you know, for participation of, or for participating in that program. So this was, you know, the purpose of uh, the, the, the IELTS program. The next thing that we are going to discuss that every time you're coming to my course, first of all, you need, you need to assure, you need to make yourself, uh, you know, like sure that how to prepare myself for the IELTS. So again, I'm repeating that we need to have a pretest and we need to have some uh, tests during the preparation and we must have some tests uh, after the you know coaching which is called pass test so before the preparation you have to you have to say that you know i am in band 6 or i am in, in band 6.5 or i am in, in 5.5 or 5 so in which level i am right now so you have to find out yourself or your level at the beginning before starting the coaching and then you have to set a target that what band you know i need for example i need six bands i need 6.5 i need seven i need 7.5 i need even eight uh, as i told you that it's quite challenging bands uh, to many people so after that when when the coaching class is finished then you can check yourself that yes yeah, I have achieved my target or I didn't. Now, if you achieved your target that yes, oh, in this class, I, I just, I shifted from, from band 5.5 to band 6.5 or six, or uh, from 6.5, I shifted to seven or from seven, I shifted or I jumped to uh, 7.5. Then you have to thank me there, Sir Haider, you did something and thank you for uh, the cooperation or the help. So you need to thank me on that time and then we will have good celebration. Good. So the second thing that I'm, I'll discuss in this video is that what do I cover in this course? This is like very important. Um, uh, first of all, I should tell you that uh, we are going to cover, see this lesson uh, covers both examination skills and techniques and work on improving all aspects of the English. This is very important. Many students are coming, they are, they, they are having IELTS class with us, but, but their grammar is weak. So we don't let them, you know, like that, oh, this is IELTS class and I'm not teaching you grammar. So, um, uh, and then, then we, then, then I personally work with them uh, on, on the 
specific skills of the grammar. You see lots of students are coming, they don't have problems uh, in all areas of grammar. Uh, for example, in grammar, they have problem in, in preposition. So I'm working with them in prepositions or in active and passive, or for example, in, in using articles. So, uh, uh, so I'm working, um, you know, both on uh, examination skills that how to attempt this question, how to attempt that question. And plus I'm just working on their, their improving, uh, you know, like uh, on their uh, skills. We need to improve their grammar, listening, speaking, writing, reading, pronunciation, and vocabulary over uh, fluency that you need to speak fluently. Uh, we are, uh, you know, I'm just working on their essay writing. Like many students are coming to my IELTS class and they um, even don't know what essay is. Uh, they don't know how to write, what is the thesis statement, what is the background information, how should I write the body paragraphs, uh, how should I conclude a paragraph. These are all the things that you know I am facing. So uh, you don't have to say that I need to learn these things before going to uh, the IELTS class. Later on, I'll tell you that who should join this class. So first of all, I'm, I'm telling you that, you know, I have, I have, I have been facing to lots of students that they are having pronunciation problems. So I don't tell them that, you know, okay, you have pronunciation problem and you quit this class or you can't do it. So I'm, I'm just showing some techniques of, of building up pronunciation, of building up fluency, of building up good essay writing. Uh, so vocabulary, I'm, I'm just building up their vocabulary, like I'm telling them that try to know synonyms, antonyms, this one, that one, collocations, phrasal verbs, uh, idiomatic words. So um, in this class, what normally I cover, I cover both. I cover exam skills, exam techniques, and plus if their grammar is weak, if their listening is weak, if their vocabulary, if all these things are weak, I'm building up their skills also. So what I mean is that, that it is not only good for your exam, and exam purpose, but it is also good for your normal English skill that if you are building your normal skill, you can also you know, study this class with us. Okay, the second thing that what level student can join IELTS class, this is like a very common question many people are having. Everybody is, you know, is saying that, and they're asking me recently, I, I know I have received lots of, you know, messages through um, a YouTube account, through emails, through a Facebook account, Instagram, that, you know, um, um, you know, I'm, I would like to take this class. So um, am I able to that or not? Am I eligible for this class or not? So in this video, you will, you will understand that, are you eligible or not? So uh, the first thing that you need to understand is the uh, student, uh, you know, over the age of 16. Like if you're under the age of 16, you shouldn't join this class. You shouldn't say that I'm, I'm, I'm coming to this class. So first thing is this one. So first of all, the students who are over the age of 16, uh, they are preparing internationally, uh, you know, recognized IELTS test. So this is one point. The second thing that your English must be at least an intermediate level. Like, you know, it, your English should be at least in an intermediate level so that I should work on your uh, all skills and make you upper intermediate or uh, make you advanced, make your skills advanced. So intermediate level means what? Many students may say that intermediate level means what? So intermediate level means that you can communicate effectively in most situations. Now, communicate effectively in most situations, you know, means what? It means that you will be speaking, but you will be having, you may have some problems with accuracy, with fluency, with accuracy, um, with grammar, with organization of your speaking and writing. So you will have, you know, you may or may not have such problems, but you must uh, you know, you must be able to speak or write somehow. So this is like very important. Intermediate level means this. Now ask yourself, can you speak or write something or not? Yes, I can speak. Yeah, I have problem in fluency. I cannot speak fluently. Yeah, I have problem in my organization. The way I speak, my arrangement of words is not okay. My arrangement, arranging of 
arrangement of ideas is not okay. So um, I have problems in my English, but it doesn't mean that I don't know English. I know English, I can communicate, but I have some problems. So in this class, we're gonna fix that. Sometimes uh, has to work hard to communicate effectively. This is like also the meaning of intermediate. Yeah, you say that I know English, but I sometimes face to uh, some difficulties while communicating. Now, if you have such, you know, like qualities or if you are in such level, so please message us, email us on, uh, uh, you know, like different, uh, you know, WhatsApp number I have on my Facebook account, um, mobile number is there. You can even directly contact me on email. You can email me so that I will just, you know, uh, join you into that class. Okay, uh, the second thing, what is the class duration? This is also a very important question many people are asking. So, uh, what is my planning? Many people are telling you that IELTS is an easy exam and just, you know, it's a 45 days class or one month class, so it's wrong, completely wrong. Like, you cannot, you cannot train yourself in one month, you cannot train yourself in 15 days or 20 days. It's completely wrong. I've seen many students there, they, they say that, oh, sir, I'm giving you, I'm just paying, you know, like a double fee or a triple fee, but please train me in, in, in a week or two. So this is wrong. Uh, I cannot train you in a week or two because it's something like a ridiculous idea. I shouldn't deceive you. And, and you should understand that, you know, if a teacher is, if the teacher is not, uh, you know, is not, is not caring, uh, you know, uh, 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 me. So uh, it's it's because of her. it's because of love. I do not waste your money plus your time, which is very important. So for me, your time is very important. I shouldn't say that. You know, I can train you in a week. It's completely wrong. Now, if I train you in a week and you go to you you go to the exam hall and you do nothing there, so it's completely useless. What is better is to come and, and train yourself and, and you just satisfy yourself before going again and again and before taking the exam again and again. It's completely wrong idea. So first of all, come and join me and, 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 and just make yourself confident and satisfied and sure that yes, I can attempt, I will do well in the exam. IELTS is not an easy thing, it's not an easy test, so you must uh, devote both. You must be a committed person. You must be, you know, like a devoted person. You must devote your time, your money, everything, uh, so that you should, uh, you know, you will achieve this one. So do not come, do not ask me or do not, do not demand me that, you know, oh, so either please teach us in a week and, uh, and, and, and that's it. No, I cannot give you a quick, you know, I cannot, uh, uh, you know, make you see the quick changes. Quick changes is something impossible. You cannot see quick changes. So uh, what is there that, you know, you have to come and you have to join this class um, and, and, and you have to be, uh, you know, like you have to devote time so that I should train you in a perfect way. And when you go to the exam, so you will be, you will be like a hero and, and, and the result which is coming, it will be expected. Okay, so this class will last for two hours in which um, you know, 30 minutes will be given to practice session. So every day, uh, four days in a week, we will have the class Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So four days we have this class and in four days, uh, totally two hour class will be there. And last 30 minutes will be the practice session. We will do practice. Okay. In this class, what is very important, full supervision. Like I'll be teaching you, for example, uh, the task one IELTS. Like I'll be teaching you a letter writing or a paragraph writing, and, and I'm not supervising you. This is very important. So supervision is very important. In supervision, what I mean that student will be given full feedback on daily basis, their, their assignments will be checked, their work will be checked. And then after that, the student will understand that yes, I'm in this, in this level. Even I'll, I'll just, you know, tell the student that, you know, this sample or this work is for, you know, like you, you took, for example, right now, 5.5 and then tomorrow again, I'm, I'm just giving them a feedback and I'm telling them that, okay, very good. You jump from 5.5 to six band. So uh, I'll just show a full, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give a full feedback on daily basis and the student will understand that, yes, sir, I'm improving. See, you know, previous week I was taking 5.5 and right now my essay deserves, uh, for example, six band.
span. So it's very good. Uh, I'll be working on daily basis on their students' weaknesses and I'll be changing them into strengths. This is very important. And again, I'm repeating, the student is not having, uh, you know, intermediate level students are coming to us, so they do not have problems in all areas. They may have problems in some specific areas. So we will be working on those specific areas, weaknesses into strength. So the next thing is class duration will be a totally four months. So three months will be at least, uh, you know, a, a lecture course, Claire, and one month, it, it, it's, it's like a free feedback period will be given to you. So as a total, you will be trained in four months. So you shouldn't say that, please train me in a week. No, impossible. With Heather, you have to study IELTS or you have to take this class for four months. Three months, you have to uh, take a normal class four days in a week uh, for three months consecutively. And one month, which is remaining, so it will be like a free uh, feedback period will be given to you. A daily basis, you'll be writing your samples and we can give you feedback. We can, we can, we can ask, we, we can answer all uh, you know, questions that you have. And in the feedback period, we can help you 24 seven in all areas that you are in need. Even, even at night, you can just sit in a question comes to your mind and directly type it and email me or message me. So I can easily provide the good answer to you. So this is like very important. You have to, uh, you know, study, you have to watch this video so that you should understand that yes, I'm, I'm learning in this video. The next thing that, what do I need for this class? This is also a very common question. Many students are asking me, uh, exactly I'm telling you, clear cut, I'm telling you that no any book is, is, is recommended except IELTS practice books. You can buy some IELTS practice books. You can download some, some, some you know, like um, uh, some, uh, uh, you know, updated test practices, or you can, you know, like that, that's also not needed. But if you just buy these books, so they're very good. Cambridge, Cambridge Isles book, like book one, book two, three, four, five, six. But do not buy the, the old one. Uh, buy seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So buy these eight books. So this is a practical training working on your desired bands. We are not working on books. We are not focusing on book completion that, yeah, the book should be finished and then you can take good IELTS mark. So it's not, it's not like that. If it were like this, so we would have told you that, okay, buy 10 books and study it and come to the exam. No, it's not about memorization. You shouldn't memorize books for coming to this exam. It's, it's a very amazing test. So it's a, a practical training. We need to work on your desired bands. So it does not need any type of book except IELTS practice book. And this is also for practice books. Like it's practice book, it's nothing else. Okay, the next thing that, what other resources uh, you, need, you need to have, but you don't need to find that. We will be providing the plenty materials uh, will be provided to you. We will provide you all the study and practice materials which will be quite enough for the achievement of desired bands. Uh, different recent exam papers will be pro provided. We will make you participate in our writing clubs and speaking clubs so that you improve your writing and speaking. Uh, three or four times mock tests will be provided and we, can, uh, we will recommend you on daily basis some good videos and uh, good books for, uh, you know, like to improve your practical or active vocabulary through listening and, and reading. Okay, the next point, which is very important, assessment progress. So this is very important. Uh, before starting the exam, we will tell you that you are in this level, and we will we will follow uh, we will follow we, your performance till the end of the coaching, and we will you you yourself will assess your skills that oh yeah my reading is improved now or oh, i am you know like now in higher bands oh yeah i am improving now so there will be homework sets uh, uh, two or three times per week so students and instructors are able to monitor student progress this is only and only for the student progress and each time that i'm checking your homeworks so uh, each homework will be having a feedback and the feedback will be having a band measurement that yeah, this homework is having five ba bands or six bands or seven bands. And, and student will be able to receive instant feedback and it allows you to make a decision 
uh, on which areas to improve. For example, we will um, give you a feedback and you will understand that, yes, I'm weak in this area. My vocabulary level is weak, so I need to improve this one. So there are lots of things. Okay, uh, the last thing that I would like to talk about is the attendance. Uh, many students, they start class with us, but in the middle, they quit. So you cannot improve. Once you start this class, you need to complete that. In the middle, lots of opportunities will be with you. Lots of opportunities will be available, but you don't have to quit because the thing that you have done till one month or two months, so do not lose it because a day comes again that you will need IELTS. So, uh, do not do, do not be regretful or do not uh, you know find a moment to be regretful um, so start from the from today and and please when you started so do not leave it do not give up till the end and try to finish it and when you complete this goal this IELTS is not is not is not only helping you to travel or work abroad but it also helps you in in, in your English you know like skills um, or you can you can you can bring a good change or betterment into your CV or you know like uh, career so do not miss that so in order to meet the desired bands you need to have 90% attendance which is very important Okay, so if you have more information, this is the end of the video. If you have more information on like fee application procedures, everything, so you can email us. You can, if you have any type of questions, you can ask us. So you can email us on this email, haiderusmani356 at gmail.com. So you can easily contact us. Wish you all the best of luck. Hope you enjoy this one. And you can ask us any type of questions regarding not only English, regarding everything. So thank you. Wish you all the best of luck. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you.